Joining us now, I have the pleasure of introducing to you Dr. Julia Greer. Dr. Greer, thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. I want to talk about special issue of the MRS Bulletin, and specifically it's titled Materials and Engineering, Propelling Innovation. So talk to me about research and engineering. They, they are closely related disciplines, but there is also a gap between the two. Right. Well, I would say that scientific research is much more like something you were doing in the lab, where you every day you come in and maybe you would run an experiment or two, and you would interpret the data, and you would try to understand what, a, what does all this data mean? How can we interpret, and how can we understand the unique phenomena that we're observing? And now what engineering, and perhaps even more relevant, um, innovation is all about is how do we then use these concepts that we discovered towards applying them towards something real, like a real technological application or a real material? How do we actually create a new advanced material? Or how do we actually harness all these interesting phenomena that are offered to us through research and then apply them to real life? And you are mostly known as a researcher. So in your experience in the lab, how often is consideration given to the needs of engineers who will then be developing your work? Well, in my research, in my line of research, it's actually particularly relevant because we're developing a technology. In fact, our technology was, um, has earned the recognition of being in the top 10 emerging technologies list uh, by the MIT's technology review this year of 2015. So we are very close to converting into a real product, in fact. Mm. So what, we, uh, what our research is focused on is on creating these nano-architected three-dimensional structural metamaterials, which is a mouthful. So these sure are very, <laughs> very, very new uh, type of material, which is very, very lightweight and at the same time very strong and damage tolerant. So it would be great if we could make maybe a sheet of paper like this, right? That you wouldn't be able to tear and that you wouldn't be able to damage in any way and that would be waterproof, for example, right? So it'd be a sheet of paper that would weigh less than a feather and would be very, very strong and you would never be able to tear or rip it. So for us, the innovation is very close, in fact. In fact, we would like to be able to make large quantities of it um, because the applications of these materials are quite ubiquitous. Yeah, and self-evident, yeah. You'll be giving one of three talks prior to the panel discussion. So what are the themes, some of the themes of your talk? Well, this, this is the major um, sort of the, the thread through all of my talks. How do we capitalize on these interesting properties that are offered by materials at the nanoscale? And then how do we proliferate them into the larger scale, macro scale materials? And the way we do it is by introducing the concept of architecture into material design. So imagine a brick that looks like a brick that's completely opalescent and transparent. It's sitting on your hand. It's very, very lightweight. So if you drop it, it'll, it'll sort of slowly travel through air like a piece of toilet paper. And um, it's just as strong as a brick and you can't break it. So those are the kinds of materials we make. And those are at much, much smaller scales. Uh, but that's the kind of uh, research that we do. It, it's, it's fascinating. And I would be remiss if I didn't also mention to everyone that you are a concert so I how am is a that going? Not only are you a great researcher and scientist, but you're a wonderful artist as well. How does that play Thank into, you. you know, it's such a different field, but you are an expert at both. How does that work? It's become such a part of me. So it's, I, they, they sort of, I don't exist without one or the other. So, so there's the creative aspect to both of them and they really reinforce one another. So I draw inspiration from both. And sometimes I just need a break from one or a break from the other, and so the other one fulfills that. It's, they're kind of like a yin and a yang. Always yeah. a fascinating interview. Dr. Greer, thank you so much. Thank we'll you. We'll work on getting you a piano. Please, next time. And enjoy the meeting. Thank you so much. Sure.